We are going to trace through a simple recursive method in Java. Um, and here's the recursive method. As you know, recursive methods uh, have to have a non-recursive case, a, a case that doesn't call itself. And in this case, it says, if x is less than or equal to zero, return one. This is referred to as the base case. And my else condition is the recursive case, the recursive call. So if, uh, if this is not true, it'll return the value of x multiplied by mystery of x minus one. This is a typical AP kind of question. They like to use mystery for their method names. I don't know, it's mysterious. So let's say that I'm calling this recursive function and I'm passing it the initial value of four. So I'd like to draw a little box representing what's happening inside of my method. So here I'm calling it initially with four. Uh, it, the uh, x is not less than or equal to zero, so it runs the else case and it'll return the value x, which is four, multiplied by mystery of x minus one. Four minus one is three. So this is in fact what's happening inside of mystery of four. It'll, re it'll return four times whatever mystery of three is. So what's mystery of three? Well, I'm going to draw a picture of that. So here I am inside of mystery of three. And again, this little box represents what's happening inside of mystery of three. Well, that's just going to return three, right? It's the X value multiplied by whatever mystery of two is. Well, what's mystery of two? Well, so I'll draw a picture of that. Here I am inside of mystery of two. Well, that's just two times whatever mystery of one is. I think you're getting the idea. Here I am inside mystery of one which is of course one times mystery of zero. We're getting exciting right here, the exciting part. Here I am inside of mystery of zero, which of course is zero. I have finally gotten to the base case, right? X is less than or equal to zero. So one is going to get returned to the guy who called him, gets returned to this guy. So let's show a one going back up to the guy who called him. So mystery zero, equals one. Now it'll finally multiply that one times this one, which is one, and one gets returned to the guy who called him. So uh, mystery of one happens to also be one. One times two is two. A two gets returned to the guy who called him. Uh, mystery of two is two, and of course two times three is six, which will get returned up to the guy who called him. So mystery of three is six. Four times six is 24. So now we know the answer to what mystery of four is. It is in fact 24 and a 24 would get returned to whoever called this. So the value of mystery of four is 24. And I think if you draw a little picture of what's happening inside each method call, you can't go wrong. I try to avoid thinking about recursive calls as a loop. It's really not a loop. Every time you make a recursive call, you're getting a brand new copy of that function. And I think if you draw a picture, you should be good to go.